Hey there peeps, uh, let me show you this amazing little workaround for creating a new note lane uh, each time you do a loop pass. This is created by Pooh Bear's Reason Channel. Um, firstly, you must download and install Loop MIDI app. You run it and then press the plus over here to create a new loop port. You also choose whether you want this thing to run in the background every time you start your your computer or whether you want to do you can, you can do this manually every time you want to work on Reason. Second step is to download and install MIDI out device from the Reason Studios. You probably have this already if you're on Reason 11. It was previously called External MIDI Instrument, EMI. Uh, so make sure you got that. Uh, and then um, you can go to Reason. Now we open Reason. And now we're going to create a new control surface. So we go to Edit, we go to Preferences, Control Surfaces, and now we go to Add Manually. And we're going to choose Other, and we're going to choose Control Surface, and we give this the name Loop MIDI Port, and MIDI Input, we choose Loop MIDI Port. Go OK. And now close it. So the first thing we do in the sequencer is make sure we aren't in edit mode because it uh, doesn't really work like that. Uh, so take it out of edit mode and make your loop exactly as you want it. And then I'm going to put in the MIDI out device. Drag it into there. And then just make sure on this drop down that it is set to loop MIDI port. Now in the MIDI out lane over here, click the automation to create a new automation lane and choose CC3. So it's a MIDI CC3 and you see it appears over there. Now click over here, right at the end of your loop, right right just inside the loop over there and create a new event. I'm going to zoom in there so we can have a look at it. Um, make it kind of really small and click on it and then click in there and drag the value, you see the, the, the numbers of the incrementing, drag the value up to 127, make sure it's on 127. Now on the transport panel over here, right mouse click on Alt and choose Edit Remote Override Mapping. And now you're going to choose the control surface that you created, Loop MIDI Port, and you're going to choose the CC that you chose, which was 03. Leave this on and just go OK. And now what you do is choose the track that you want to record on, because we're ready to go. So choose the, for example, the piano over here. Um, and I'm just going to push play. I'm not going to record, but I'll just press play so you can see that every time the cursor passes this point, it's going to create a new lane. And this happens, of course, in record mode too. And that is it. Fantastic, eh?